This just in, recent research shows that a religion degree is in fact very useful. For the students who are planning on working towards a degree in religion but have received such criticism as, you'll never find a job with that, or that degree will be useless, we're here to stand behind you to help show those people just how important a religion degree can be. Throughout time, religion has impacted the works of many historical figures. For some, their connection to religion may seem rather obvious, but for others, their connection is less obvious but equally important. Gandhi, for example, is often seen as a religious leader in history. However, he is more appropriately categorized as a political leader whose work was greatly influenced by his personal religious beliefs. Gandhi is most known for his political advocacy in the Indian independence movement during the majority of the first half of the 20th century. Although his works were political, they were driven by his deeply rooted religious beliefs. He believed that religion is an ordered moral government of the universe that should pervade every one of our actions. He also believed in mutual toleration, which is the understanding that there will never be a time where everyone thinks alike, but we must live in peaceful harmony. He then advocated for these beliefs in the form of political movements. As we see, Gandhi's political work was very heavily influenced by his understanding of religion. Similar to Gandhi, Rosa Parks is another political figure whose actions derive from her religious beliefs. Mrs. Parks, who is well known as a civil rights activist, was a lifelong member of the African Methodist Episcopal Church. Douglas Brinkley, author of the biography Rosa Parks, A Life, states that for her, faith in God was never the question, it was the answer. She found comfort and peace in the Bible. Its teaching became a way of life and helped me in dealing with my day-to-day -day problems. Her activism was at least partly fueled by her religious beliefs, seen in her statement. From my upbringing in the Bible, I learned people should stand up for rights, just as the children of Israel stood up to the Pharaoh. From these two figures, we can see that having an understanding of religion can show us some of the motivations behind their political actions. Religion also influenced Albert Einstein, who is viewed as one of the most famous scientists of all time. Even though he was a huge scientific scholar and never came to believe in a personal God, Einstein himself recognized the impossibility of a non-created universe. He believed in Spinoza's God, who reveals himself in the harmony of what exists. This actually motivated Einstein's interest in science. He once told a young physicist, I want to know how God created this world. I am not interested in this or that phenomenon, in the spectrum of this or that element. I want to know his thoughts. The rest are details. Who would have thought that such an important scientist in our history had such a religious type background as to why he did what he did? A famous saying of his was, science without religion is lame, religion without science is blind. There's always been a great divide between religion and science. Einstein, however, is an excellent example of how the two fields can actually overlap. So if we're able to understand how religion can actually influence a scientist like Einstein, then it shouldn't be much of a stretch to see how it can influence a musician such as John Coltrane. In addition to being a High Point native, John Coltrane grew up in an environment that stimulated and encouraged both his artistic and religious growth. Coltrane's spirituality played a strong role in his life, culminating in 1957 when he had a religious experience that helped him overcome his addiction to heroin and alcohol. After that, Coltrane vowed to express his religious experience in his work. His iconic album, A Love Supreme, is an expression of gratitude to a higher power and a and evangelization of his listeners. His belief and understanding of God was what made Coltrane the incredible musician he was. Coltrane is now a canonized saint in the African Orthodox Church and has a strong following that revere his work at the St. John Coltrane African Orthodox Church in California. In the words of Coltrane himself, my goal is to live the truly religious life and express it in my music. If you live it, when you play, there's no problem because the music is part of the whole thing. To be a musician is really something. It goes very, very deep. My music is the spiritual expression of what I am, my faith, my knowledge, my being. Well, there you have it. A degree in religion can be extremely useful. So next time someone tries to tell you that studying religion is just a waste of time, you can share with them that no matter what field you end up in, a good understanding of religion will always be beneficial. You know, at High Point University, many of the students obtaining a minor or major in religion are also working towards another degree as well. This shows that their religion degree is more than just useful in the religion classes. Whether your religion degree is on its own or in conjunction with another degree, it's infinitely useful.